Okay, so I need to start making videos. And since I don't have nothing else to do, and y'all excuse my nails, I'm going to show them to y'all because they are part of the freaking story. Okay, all right, so let's get into it. So I was having a party for my 28th birthday. Um, it just recently passed. And I had put it in my head that I wanted to have this huge party. And I know what y'all thinking. A huge party in the middle of COVID? Huh. Jesus. Um, see what happened was, why well, I said when I say huge, I don't really mean huge. I mean like my sisters and my cousins was going to be there. It was going to be max 10 of us, including me. But it was going to be like real bougie. You know what I'm saying? I was making everybody dress up. I'm talking gowns. I'm talking about you look cute. I'm talking if you ain't in a gown, then you step it. Okay? Heels, lips, eyes. I wanted it all, okay? I wanted my friends, my sisters to dress up, be bad, feel bad. And I wanted to do that too, you know? This was my birthday hair. As you can see, it's real, real cute. I know I like this boy. Okay. <clears throat> so, what happened was, um, back in December, I had ordered some uh, snacks from this lady. Um, my family always be buying stuff from her because she make, like, really cool snacks and stuff. Um... And it's listed on my Instagram or my Facebook if y'all care. But I think I'm not gonna say her name wrong because I could be saying it all wrong. Um, but um, so I bought some snacks from her in December and I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't know if I was gonna have a birthday party, I didn't know if I was gonna have people over my house for dinner, I didn't know. But I bought these snacks because I knew for my birthday that I would be able to celebrate it and I was gonna do it big. So I bought some really expensive, you know, the little decorated snacks with the strawberries and the little it was cute, okay. Um I inserted a picture if I remember to do it. <laughs> so they'll be right there. But it was really cute. So um I had planned a whole party around this because I was like, I can't have expensive snacks and then, you know, not, you know, do nothing. So what you wanna do? So I was like, you know, let's have like a little dinner or whatever. So I was like, you know, let's have like a queen's brunch. So that's what the idea started out with being, you know, me being the queen <laughs> and us doing a brunch. Well, um, then it kind of went to a straight party. Like I booked the venue. I got a, no, I got a party. I got my cousin. My cousin got me a party planner and then, um, hit me up with the person for the venue. So then that turned into a whole thing. And then the party planner started planning the party and she was planning like a party. Okay. So I was like, yes. And I had the money to make it happen. So I was just, yes, yes. And then once she said that was a red carpet, I was like, ah. I gotta have a key dress because one of my friends she is she works really hard on her body and she looks amazing so you know i was like she about to be cute and i gotta be the one okay so i went and got me a dress made <laughs> and once i got the dress made i was like well, i definitely need a photographer for this dress so my boyfriend was gonna get me a photographer and this party was just as you can see it just kept going and going and going because once i bought that dress honey it was over okay once i bought the dress the dress made moves the dress started talking to me and she was like you like me more me more so i was getting my makeup done like the whole it was the whole thing so um in the midst of all this so from december to january 20th okay i'm processing getting ready for my party everything and i don't got no bra because it's o'clock in the morning so and your mama. Um, so I uh getting ready for everything, getting ready for my party. And um my I found out my mom had COVID and I hadn't seen my mom, you know. So I was like, uh, kinda worried, not worried. We'll talk about this whole mom story later why I haven't seen my mom why I really wasn't worried. But um so we I found out that she had it and I was like, Oh shit. So I was like, you know what, everybody just go get tested just to be sure because I'm about to be around a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of people about to be around me. I just want to be safe. So I went ahead and got tested. I made everybody go go get tested and come to find out, I found out the day before my birthday that I had the coronavirus. <sighs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Oh gosh, that sucks. Well, yeah, fucking does. Um... So I found out I had COVID on my birthday. 
um, the day before my birthday. So that was a Friday. My party was that Saturday. And then I went to go get another test and found out that I did have it because it was first lady messed up my coronavirus test. She um, mixed my results up with somebody else who was positive and that kind of made me a little sketchy because she was like you do have it and i don't i <clears throat> i didn't have no symptoms like none like i was tired but i had just had my period so you know um i guess i was exhausted like i was a different type of exhausted like now that i look back and think about it but i wasn't you know, go to the hospital, you might have COVID exhausted. Like, I did this because I was being responsible. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I found out that my little cousin got sick. Um, and her situation is way different than mine. So, I've been like, me and her been talking and stuff. And I've been trying to, you know, be positive for her. Me and her been able to make COVID jokes that nobody would get unless she had it, you know. Um... But yeah, like I literally got COVID on my birthday. So now everybody is like, oh my God, Elaney, you know, what are we going to do? Because everybody is ready for this party. Like pe these people have invested in these dresses. People have invested in everything. But in my mind, it's about the, my safety and the safety of the people around me. Because I also started taking care, um, not taking care of my stepdad. He can take care of himself. But I started, you know, being more active in his life and being around him. And I'm just like, you know, I got a baby. I got him. I have my, you know, my grandmother. Like, I got, you know, people in my life. And my little cousins, you know, people with asthma and whatnot who can't, you know, can't get sick. And I'm just like, with them already having to go to work and all this other type of stuff, I just, you know, have to shut it down. Because I've been around people who have the symptoms that I have. Okay, I've had these symptoms prior because I have allergies, so I'm always stuffed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't coughed. Like, I have you like that a lot. Well, I guess like more than normal, but mainly it's just <clears throat> that's it. And I'm on hella, <clears throat> hella vitamins and teas and herbs right now. Um, I didn't really get anything for it. So, I've just been taking vitamins and teas. You do you. Follow CDC guidelines. Don't listen to me. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Literally not a doctor. And Google is my best friend. Don't listen to me for shit. If you follow me for anything, okay, don't listen to me. I'm telling you what I do. Okay? This is what I was doing. It's not what you should do. It's what Elaine was doing. I didn't tell you to do shit. Okay? Anyway, so that's the story about how I got COVID on my birthday. I did have to end up moving my birthday party. I moved it out um, in enough time to wear. And also, no one had their clothes. Their clothes did not come in time. So, I was trying to look at this from a positive standpoint. You know, um, I had a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff that I have to do this year. I'm back in school this year. I'm restarting um, my women's group, um, the healing space again, once I finish um, my trainings. And what else am I doing? And then, you know, I'm trying to... So, I, I me getting... Um, hope it right now i'm just trying to look at the positive part of it because i've been locked in my room for about two days now because i have a roommate and a baby to protect so i can't really leave you know and i'm just here and i'm gonna try not to go crazy i also found out my results before i went to the nail salon that was why my nails look like this um because i went and got tested prior to me going to the nail salon and uh Everybody made a joke and was like, you know, whatever. <laughs> like, I should have went and got my nails there. And I was like, no. Like, I'm, I'm trying to be responsible, okay? And I want everybody to be responsible. Like, please. I don't know. Protect yourself. Be safe. I would tell y'all to be safer than me. But honestly, y'all, I walk around with sanitizer spray. I wear gloves. Like, well, no, I wasn't wearing gloves. I will give you that. I was not wearing gloves. And I was around my family some of them without masks and that was 
I believe like my biggest downfall is why the only time I've ever come in contact with catching COVID was like go being like in my family spaces without a mask because I don't go around strangers without no mask on I don't really go out out like that I've been out during COVID like me and some friends got like an Airbnb somewhere one time um I've been out during COVID but I haven't like I went to a park during COVID. But outside of that, like, I haven't been out, out. And that was, like, months ago. So, I have kind of been safe. And when I caught COVID on my birthday, I was quarantining. That's another thing. It's really important. Eleni, you were quarantining? I was quarantining when I caught COVID. Okay? Because I knew something's down deep in my spirit was, like, I think you should just go and so I did that and then my mom had it got tested and I was like oh I have it no I'm not saying I got it for my mom I have no idea um really because like the couple people I know have it and then some people don't even have symptoms so they could be lying and telling me that they don't and they went and got tested and never freaking did you know what I'm saying or people who say they have allergies and they just got a little itch in their throat they could really be fucking lying and have it like I have an issue in my throat. You know what I'm saying? And the most I would say is like the extreme exhaustion is the main thing that I'm dealing with. Is like if I can stay in the bed all day, like good to go. The moment that I get up, like I just got up prior to making this to um, use the bathroom and take a shower. Um, by the time I got back to the bed, I was sleepy and out of breath. But those are the two main things. It's just that. It's just easy to lay down and just let it happen to you. I know. I wanted this to be funnier. And I'm not sure if it's going to be. But it's real. Like, I really did catch COVID on my freaking birthday when I planned a humongous party. And I'll insert pictures and clips of what it would look like. Um, actually, I won't because I'm going to have this freaking party. Like, I, I told y'all, on um, period, I haven't told y'all, but I've been telling myself, I am really am having my way with this year. Like, I really, really am going to have my way with this year. And I'm not going to let coronavirus or none of that stop me. I'm still doing everything I need to do. Um, I have a calling, and I'm just going to make it happen, okay? Um, I'm going to try and make some more videos. I'm not doing nothing but laying here in the bed. And I thank y'all for watching. I'm going to make an intro promise real soon um i just haven't made one yet but i'm definitely going to make an intro soon so we can have something